screen. Do you? What do you see here? Judah betrayed his brother Joseph for 20 pieces of silver. Judas betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. This goes together, hand in hand. And when you understand that this is one big prophecy that has to do with the second coming of Jesus Christ to this earth, wow. Now I know what you're thinking. I know what you're doing in your head because it's natural. What you're doing is you're subtracting seven years from this number because if Jesus Christ comes back in 2030, well, then there was a seven-year period before that called Daniel's 70th week or Israel's 70th week, which is seven years long. So you subtract seven from 2030 and you end up where? You end up in the year 23. So will Daniel's 70th week begin in 2023, likely in the fall? That I don't know. What I do know is that in Hosea 6.2, Hosea said that Israel will live in Jesus Christ's sight after two days. And Peter said that one day with the Lord is as a thousand years. So two days is 2,000 years. In essence, Jesus is telling Israel that he's coming back to earth in 2,000 years. From what year? Exactly 2,000 years from what year? We're going to be looking into that on this channel. And it just so happens that there's some things that you can't do with other numbers that you can do with 2030 and with 2023. And that is that 2030 is another form of 23. So these two numbers go hand in hand, 2023 and 2030. In Jude 1.14, he mentions that Enoch is the seventh from Adam in the lineage from Adam to Jesus. Well, guess who just happens to be the 23rd? It's Jacob, Israel, and 7 plus 23 is 30. Also, 20 plus 30 equals 50. 50 is a jubilee on God's calendar, and many believe Jesus will return at a jubilee. Now again, I'm not here to make any predictions. That's not what I'm doing. I'm studying a King James Bible, and I'm just trying to get some exegesis. I'm trying to pull out, exit the facts out of the text. The fact is, is that Joseph is betrayed as the type and shadow of Jesus Christ. He is betrayed for 20 pieces of silver. Jesus is betrayed by 30 pieces of silver, both by Judah or Judas. Both of them, Jesus Christ returns in a vesture dipped in blood. Joseph's coat was dipped in blood. Jesus predicted this, both pointing back at Joseph and pointing to himself by dipping a sop in wine, wine representing blood. Okay, I wanted to show you the chronology. It's a coat of many colors, so I used a little... Uh, many colors to, to show this to you, but I wanted to show you the, the, the connections between these prophecies, okay? On the left, we've got Genesis 37. This is uh, verse 3, 26, 27, 28, and 31, so it's chronological, and it says, now Israel loved Joseph, so this is about Joseph in yellow, more than all of his children because he was the son of his old age and made him a coat of many colors. So then if we go over to Luke, this is all in it's not in chronological in the same uh, chapter, but it's chronological as far as time goes. Luke 3 is the beginning of Jesus' ministry, and it says Jesus himself began to be about 30. My theory is a 30 theory, okay? And Luke 3.23, Jesus began to be about 30 years of age, okay, being the son of Joseph. That's the beginning of his ministry. But then we go back to Genesis thirty-seven twenty-six over here. And it says, Judah said unto his brethren, what profit is it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood? Look at Matthew 26, 14. Then one of the 12 called Judas went unto the chief priests and he said unto them, what will ye give me? And I will deliver him unto you. Judah said unto his brethren, what profit? Judah Judas Iscariot said unto the chief priest, what will ye give me? What profit? What will ye give me? It's the same thing, just repeated. Okay, and then he says, I'll deliver him to you. And then uh, what Judas' goal here was to sell him to the ish, ish, He's selling him out. And that's what this is over here, delivering him. He's selling out Jesus to the chief priests. Then the next one is light blue. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, the next one over here is light blue. Uh, betrayal is uh, selling out Joseph. That is selling out Jesus, selling out Joseph to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver. Betrayed him for 30 pieces of silver. And then uh, what they do is they take the coat and they dip it in blood, Joseph's coat. And then uh, obviously chronologically is the second coming over here, which is the entire point of this whole thing is about the second coming of Jesus Christ. Jesus returns in a vesture dip, dipped in blood. That's the whole point of this story over here is to start this narrative. 
The whole point of Joseph is to start the narrative of, of the coat that Jesus will be coming back in, a coat dipped in blood. All right? And then when you see at the Passover that Jesus dipped a sop and he gave it to Judas. So it's, it's Joseph, Joseph, Judah, Judas. What prophet? What will ye give me? Sell him. Deliver him. Sold Joseph. Betrayed Jesus. 20 pieces of silver, 30 pieces of silver, dipped the coat in blood, a vesture dipped in blood, 20, 30. And Jesus in the center of all this, he dipped the sop, pointing back at Joseph and pointing at his second coming. Absolutely amazing stuff. It's perfectly, it's a perfect uh, prophecy. It's a perfect cross-reference. And the money, the money has got numbers in it. 2030, folks. Second coming of Jesus Christ. That's what this prophecy is about.